What sets your heart on fire? And how do we find these burning passions? And who is your igniter? For us, it's our friendship. Today we're going to talk about what our friendship means to us and how it helps foster our dreams. Five years ago, I moved into our neighborhood yearning for a connection. Five years ago, I also was looking for a friend who truly understood me. Little did we know the search would be over on the first day of school at the bus stop. And this is where our journey began. From scootering around the streets of Portugal, to ziplining uh, zip across the skyline in Canada, to eating waffle ice creams at the beach, or just spending a day in Princeton, downtown. This, this, we, we've done it we've all. Done it all. And yes, we've had our ups and downs, but that has only allowed our friendship to grow and prosper. So along with these experiences, we also bond over our cultural and religious values. As followers of Jainism, we've learned to, to forgive, to forget, to sacrifice, and to love. Like the time CS spilled coke all over my car. Even though I was bothered, I forgave her clumsy habits and lack of coordination. Like always, we just laugh it off. On a deeper note, two years ago, me and Pari had a falling out, and through our values and our roots, we were able to get through it and keep our friendship the same. Also, as Gujaratis, we do Gerba, in which we embrace our culture through uh, lively and colorful circles, as you can see here. So not only do we have cultural circles, but we actually live in a literal circle. And this is our circle right there, alfalfa circle. One thing that separates me and Pari from other best friends is that we gain a deeper understanding of each other through a circle. This may sound strange, but this circle has nurtured hope, empathy, and it has allowed us to gain a support system for each other. Almost every day we go, over, go on walks around this circle. And in this circle, we've, we've cried, we've laughed, we've done everything. But more importantly, uh, through, this, through these therapeutic walks, we've been able to check in with each other, not only on a physical level, but on uh, an emotional level. And unfortunately, not everyone has a door open for them. So the Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School state that 62% of the youth suffer from at least one trauma. And sometimes these traumas are overlooked, causing children to mentally break down and no one is there to notice. So um, no, one is, no one is there to understand what these children are feeling deep inside. So how can I take the empathy that I've created between me and Sia and put them between robots and these hurting children? So MIT's Leonardo and Osaka University's Erica are these emotionally intelligent robots being programmed to nurture and heal these future generations. And contributing to this emerging technology, I would like to take asynchronous coded electric skin, also known as e-skin, and uh, implement it into the human-machine interface. So, and I want to bring touch and sentience to a deeper level and meaning. So as this e-skin touches a child's head, it will, it will scan the child's neural activity and it will detect any neural um, oscillation anomalies. And using this information, I want the robot to use its visual processing, pattern recognition, and decision-making skills to fully understand and interact with these hurting children in order to prevent further cognitive breakdown. I want these biohybrid robots to essentially be a friend for those searching for connection. So I want to merge healthcare, AI, and neurobotics to create these new sentient life forms to um, transcend, um, to transcend unsupervised learning to help children heal, grow, and dream. I want everyone to have a SIA. Going back to our circle, as Pari said. Through our, through our walks, we're able to gain an emotional and mental connection with, and physical connection with each, with each other. We're also able to connect with our environment and bond with the nature. Through our walks, I've, uh, I've been able to gain a deeper understanding for nature and a strong desire to do anything to protect it. A big issue in our environment is microplastics. Microplastics are small pieces of plastic that pollute the environment and the air around us, and they're especially evident in the ocean. Microplastics um, cause problems in the ocean as they lead, cause, lead to the deaths of many animals. Just recently, uh, a dead turtle washed up on the Sea of Miami Beach with 104 pieces of plastic in its stomach. This is just one example of animals, um, animals dying through microplastics. And it, essentially, microplastics mess with, the, the, completely mess with the marine life of the, of the ocean. And every year, eight tons of, plas eight tons of microplastics leak into the ocean, which is equi equivalent to 
a truckload of garbage being placed, leaked into the ocean every minute. So essentially, by the time we present, finish this presentation, seven truckloads of plastic will be leaked into the ocean. So my solution for the problem is, uh, is, a, is a dolphin-shaped floater made up of the plastic-eating bacteria and fungi that we would place into the oceans to eat up the microplastics. This is just one step closer to getting, to getting rid of the microplastics in the ocean, and eventually we need to think bigger and get rid of it in the, get rid of them in the air. Additionally, um, companies are also starting to take initiative. Just recently, um, Adidas made a shoe, a shoe made up of um, a fishnet recycled with nylon thread that they use, use, they use using the plastic in the ocean to make the shoe to help with the ocean pollution in the ocean pollution. And just as more groups and companies start to take initiative with the problem, we can get closer to solving the issue of microplastics, and eventually we can get closer to solving other environmental issues. I want everyone to have a safe and nurturing environment in which they can um, nurture themselves just like me and Parry are able to do on our walk. So to wrap up, as we diverge into our different passions and dreams to reach our future goals, we will always converge back to the line that creates our circle of infinite friendship. Thank you for yeah. listening. <laughs>